Hey guys, it's Niklas here from UpgradeToLife.com and in this video we are going to talk about the specific person trap. Do you make this one mistake? And I know that the title of this video may sound a little bit triggering or even shocking to some of you guys, but that's on purpose because I literally want you to wake up and I want people that find themselves like not making progress with all of that finally get out of this get out of the cycle and i also thought that right now is a good point in time to actually make a video on this and release it on my channel because i haven't done so before and i'm actually not planning to release really any more videos on this because in my opinion if you get the fundamentals if you get neville goddard's teachings if you apply what has been taught and also what you find on this channel this works the same for any kind of goal and desire that you have for your life so I want to clean up some mess that's out there with this video. I want this to be the only video that you will ever need when it comes to this topic. So with that, let's just jump right into it. And let's look first of all at today's agenda because we're covering some stuff, guys. We're going to start with the typical journey that most people go through when they encounter this topic. Then I'm going to share with you the common pitfalls that people like experience and the, the most common stumbling blocks that they have on this journey. We're going to cover this thing when people say, oh yeah, but Neville said, da da da, Neville said you should not do this and all around this stuff. We're going to talk about the solid foundation that actually is required that I always recommend. We're going to talk about the solution, right? If this is your goal, if this is your really true heart's desire and you have the solid foundation already, you know how it works, then I want to share with you the solution. I want to share with you some quotes that undermine everything that we're going to talk about and also I want to summarize that so that this again is the final and the only video that you will ever need on this topic okay so before I jump in just a quick disclaimer this video is based on my personal experience and the informations I received while working with a lot of people so you don't have to like think that this is it and you have to like stop what other people tell you you don't right do whatever resonates with you I just want to speak the truth with you. I want to say what um, helped me, what helped people that I work with and what does not help people, right? And that's what I want to share with you in this video. Don't take this too personal. Don't take this too serious. It's still like my opinion that I share here based on, yeah, what I, I studied Neville a lot. I studied Neville really deeply and now I can actually tell you what works and what doesn't and what worked for me and what doesn't. So here is first of all the typical journey that most people go through when they get involved into this topic manifesting um, a specific relationship with someone. First of all, everything starts with usually like there's a breakup or there are relationship problems or sometimes for people, um, they're single and they just have this desire for a new relationship, right? They really strongly want to be with someone or like I said, they want to get back with an ex. They want to get back with someone that they were involved with before. That's usually how it all like starts. That's the starting point. Then people jump on the internet and they search for help. That's what I also did, right? We go on the online, we search, how can I get this back? How can I fix this? How can I do this? And then we search, we get into this uh, learning kind of phase. Um, usually people, they really quickly come across the law of attraction right, what you know out there, the typical of attraction and also typical self-help, such as like raise your vibration, be happy, put yourself on a pedestal, don't text them back, no contact and all of this stuff, right? And again, do whatever you want, do whatever resonates with you. I'm just sharing the typical stuff and like the, the things that I've observed when I like looked at the data that I from a lot of people and from my own journey and when, from what I see out there in, the, in this community. And then some people, they they go a little bit deeper, right? Because they really, this desire stays with them and they discover Neville Goddard and the law of assumption. So they don't give up, right? They have this goal, they have this desire for the specific partner that they want to be with. And they, yeah, like they see success stories and they somehow get this realization of, wow, like that actually does work. That actually should work somehow when I apply some things the right way. And then they finally arrive, right? at this place of the law of assumption where they feel, okay, here I'm understood, here's exactly where people also have this desire and it is possible because they have seen success stories. 
But the next thing that happens, that is really crucial. Okay, I'm sure you're with me until this point right now, right? We have something that's going sideways. We want to learn how to fix it. We discover usually like typical stuff. We go a little bit deeper in, all to, in also spirituality and like consciousness manifesting how life and, and all of that works. We discover that we've gotten a lot of assumption, but what happens next to most people is really um, not good, okay? Because what happens is that most people, they get sucked into this black hole of binge watching YouTube videos, seeking new affirmations or like just saying affirmations 24 seven and thinking that affirmations are the holy grail. They do tarot card readings. They read countless articles on this topic. They crave more success stories, even though they already read some. And they are constantly in search for the next technique, the newest technique, the newest method and all of this stuff out there. And they, they, they're they not clear any longer. They are in the middle of this black hole. They do all of this stuff, right? But they, they lost clarity. They lost enjoyment for their lives. And they sometimes feel really lost in this in this journey. Um, I'm not saying again that this is true for all people, just what happens not like what happens most of the times to some people. And then what people do is that they start to watch all sorts of different videos. So they are in a black hole and then they start and they watch videos how to make your SP conform to you, how to get unplugged from your SP, how to manifest a text message, how to like affirm the right way and they do those affirmation rampages where they really flip their thoughts and they get lost in their mind with their thoughts and also sometimes even their own emotions that are coming up. They watch videos how to take them off the pedestal and make them chase you, how to make your SP obsessed with you or how to manifest your SP to come over today. And I want us to pause for a moment and I want you to really let this sink in, okay? So again, you can watch this stuff. If it helps you, watch it. But from what I have discovered, from what have I heard from a lot of people, is that those videos that, that have topics and t- titles like this, they're sometimes even more like distracting or even more confusing or make it even more difficult because you think you miss something. You think there's something you do wrong and you need to know how to make them come over today or make them obsessed. But I mean, guys, is this really a goal? I mean, do you want your person to conform to you like a, I don't know, like like object, like a slave? I mean, we're talking about mutual, loving, great, long-lasting relationships, right? Where you are both worthy, you are both whole, you're both complete, you um, like support each other. It's not that one is needy and one needs the other person. No, it's like it's like mutual kind of kind of kind of um, worthiness and wholeness in this relationship. Right? It does not mean that this person should not like initiate a text or ask you out and stuff, but it's like, is this really your main goal? Or is actually your main goal to be in a happy, long-lasting, committed relationship with them? That is why you should ask yourself, are those videos really helping you? Are they just like for you to have another like dopamine spike and be like, oh yeah, awesome. Or I mean, how to make them obsessed with you. It's the same or a text message. If that is what you want, Go for it. I'm not telling you that it's wrong, but for me at least, that was not what what I at the end wanted and what a lot of people don't want. And that is why this stuff, to a degree, does not really work and is actually not really beneficial or useful. It's more like surface level stuff. So this is also why I called this video the specific person trap. Because I don't want to make a viral video and focus on viral stuff but I want to make detailed, really beneficial, really helpful videos that actually helps, right? My aspiration, my goal is not for you to, yeah, click on my videos and have another dopamine spike and then that's it and have a quick gimmick here and there. My aim, my aspiration is for you to have like long lasting solutions for you to understand the law of assumption on a deeper level so that you can apply it for everything in your life. Whether this is the relationship you want, whether this is the money, the car, the, the, the specific identity that you want to be embodying, it works for all in the same way. And so this is why you won't find videos on my channel, such as how to, like all of all of this stuff. You won't find this on my channel. I won't focus on this. I want to teach the solid foundations of the law of assumption. So ask yourself, is or are those videos right here helpful when you want to reach your specific goal? Now, what happens then is that people, they try 
to from their current internal state, which oftentimes when they come into the teachings is lack, is fear, is worry, confusion. From this deep internal state, they try to do all of the stuff, right? They find themselves in this black hole. They do all the latest techniques and methods and jumping from one coach to the next and all of this in order to bridge the gap and finally experience the relationship and the circumstances that they want. But they haven't really like dissolve their internal state first and they think that the surface level stuff is going to help them if you want to learn more about that and if you want to learn more how to really make this shift for every area of your life i highly recommend you check out the free masterclass link is in the description and yes that's some advertisement so that's a typical journey right and then people they end up being stuck focus on the middle right they want text message they want like meetings and dates and this is all fine i'm not saying that this is like bad this is cool this is awesome relationship stuff but ask yourself if this is really the end thing neville did not for fun said the end is where we start right you start at the end you just go right to the end i made a video um the end is where we start you can also check this out and that is really what counts and they see no results because they're doing that they or worrying about if they're doing it right or correct because they always think there is something they're missing they always think there is next video they always think that what this youtuber says is the 100 the only truth and if they say i have to affirm 24 7 i have to do that but they don't get that it is not about the techniques guys right i also made a video it's it's not the technique that will get you your goal it's it's deeper and if you're open and if you're actually ready to get this then it becomes easy but if you still rely on those affirmations and techniques, you make it more complicated. So yeah, then people look for signs, they get impatient, they fight with their thoughts because they may know how a technique works, but they actually don't know how to deal with emotions or negative thoughts when they arise, which is huge and very important. They stop actually living and enjoying their life because they are so lost in this whole process. They then even sometimes lose faith and trust in the law of assumption and that can lead for some people to wanting to give up or even giving up on their goals and desires and on this kind of relationship that they want with sometimes someone specific. And I hope by now you first of all got this. Okay, that's like the typical journey that I went through to some degree. A lot of people that I work with went through and this is obviously not really pleasant all the time and we can make it easy for ourselves. And then... There is this another, like, I don't want to call it a trap, but then there's this another topic. So then people say, okay, yeah, but but Neville said this. So in one of Neville Goddard's lectures, he said the following thing. And this also trips a lot of people up when they hear this. So in this lecture, Neville said, I have had people say to me, you know, I want that man and no other man. I said, no, you don't. You want to be happily married. You don't want that man or no man. Oh yes, that man or no man. Then, of course, this always shocks them. I say, if he dropped that right now, would you want to be married? Well, he isn't going to drop. I didn't ask you that. If he dropped that right now, or if he's right this very moment accused of being the world's greatest thief or murderer, do you still want him? Well... Now, why you ask those questions, Neville? I want that man. But you see, it isn't that man. They want to be happily married. Uh, basically, to sum that up, what Neville is saying here, that the woman who asked this, like she, she don't want a specific person, she wants to be happily married. Uh, we have to be really open to this kind of um, lecture part when Neville says this, because I honestly think he is right to some degree. Because, I want to explain that and I also say the other side. Because if you depend on this one person, you place your whole happiness into this one person, it can become really painful if things don't work out or if, um, yep, something happens or stuff like that. Because then, like, your happiness would be gone. But you should never place your happiness into something externally, right? I made a video, How to Cure Relationship Insecurity, really important where I explain the happiness topic um, and when it comes about relationships in more detail. But I'm sure that this is also a key point that Neville wanted to bring across here. So that's why he said, you actually don't want this person, you actually want to be married. 
right? That you actually want to be in a happy relationship. That's your main goal. You don't want to make it dependent on this one person. And like I said, to some degree, I agree with that. On the other side, I also say that we have to look from it from a different perspective because there is this perspective that, yeah, like you should be open to whoever it is and open for with whom you end up in a relationship with. And that is, like I said, true to some degree, right? Because if you are in this lack and need and fear and desperate state and then you want this one person, and I think this is what Neville is referring to, then it's maybe difficult and it may take a long time for you to first of all shift this internal, like your, your main state around. But if you fix all of that, if you have a solid foundation, which we're also going to cover in this video, then there's this other perspective, which I also agree with. And that is, first of all, Neville only brought up the matter of romancing a specific person once. So only in this one lecture part, he said that, like, this woman should not focus on a specific person. It's not that he said this 100 times, he only said it, like, once. Also, Neville said, or, like, Neville, calling something impossible would really contradict his primary main teaching, which is that all things are possible to God, to consciousness, to you. Which is true, right? Creation is finished. Every possible state already does exist. I made a video, Infinite States, you can check it out here. Which means... When everything you can imagine exists, because it's impossible for you to conceive and be aware of something that is not already in existence, then it means that this reality, this, this desire is already like a possibility of God, of consciousness, of your true self. It is already there. So it would contradict when Neville says, like, you cannot manifest a specific person. And then on the other, on the other side, he said... You can manifest everything you want, which he said over and over again. And everything is possible to God, to your imagination, to consciousness. So that is the second very important thing. Also, Neville himself manifested to be married with his wife, with his quote-unquote specific person, even though there were like some circumstances involved that were not so pleasant. I don't want to go into too much detail about that right now. But he himself applied it for a person and for his own relationship and lastly, there are numerous proofs and stories and successes, even in, own, even in Neville's own lectures, where people have a relationship and also specific personal success. And I will link my client's success stories below, which you can check out because there are also some great stories that will show you that it works, that will empower you and help you. So, summarized, this is Neville's personal meaning on this topic, right? When you read what I shared with you, this lecture part, right, where he says, no, you don't want this man, you want a happy relationship in general, see it from the perspective that, see it from the bigger picture understanding, that this is true, actually, like, if you're really lacking and needing, and then you place your happiness onto this one person, that's not what we recommend here, right, and that is also not what I recommend, but if you feel whole, aligned, really peaceful, everything is good, and you, you have your own happiness within yourself, and then your goal is still the person that, that you have in your mind, then we have to take the this other perspective into consideration that it is possible, that it does work, that even Neville did it, and that there are a lot of proofs. Okay, so this is also something really important that I wanted to cover with you, because again, some people say, don't do this, be general, which I like agree with to some degree. Being general is, can also be good, but if you want to be specific, it also does work. But in order to be specific, you should have a strong, solid foundation, which we're going to cover right now. And that is, first of all, acknowledge that it is possible through the conscious application of the law of assumption. Right Before you even start to do that, before you even yeah, tackle this topic, you need to acknowledge that it is possible. Because everything is possible. Right? If you see it in your imagination, if you hear the congratulation, if you imagine a scene that implies you have it, it does happen, right? Your imagination is real. I made a video how to imagine the right way and I will also link that one here. That's the first really important foundation. Also, really important, guys, is to understand the deeper fundamentals regarding the law of assumption, such as consciousness is the only reality, creation is finished, and imagining creates reality. If you only scratch the surface, if you're only like trapped in this black hole that I shared with you, then I'm honest with you, it's going to be difficult. It's going to feel that you're doing something wrong. It's going to feel that you're missing something and 
that there is this next magic pill, but you're just falling for the trap, right? Don't do this, guys. Don't do this. And more so, dedicate yourself to the deeper fundamentals as I did. Really learn what is meant with consciousness, the only reality, creation is finished, and imagining creates reality. And if you get this, if you apply this, if you test this, if you have some of your own experiences, then you will certainly discover that why would this topic be difficult? Why would this topic actually be so hard? But it is so hard for most people because there are emotions involved, they haven't experienced this with that, it's something new for them, and all of this stuff. Also, like I said, having some experiences with the law to not experience um, a lack of faith and belief, right? If you have some manifestations, if you apply this on a consistent basis and you know it worked 100 times before, then your faith in the law, your trust in the law, your belief in yourself, in your imagination, in your true self will be really strong and you won't question even if that is possible or not or if you can do it or not. Also, learn how to deal and transcend your negative thoughts, your doubts, your fears and your emotions. I've met people coming into that, right, and they know some techniques, they, they can imagine the end, they do revision or I remember when, that's great, but still they haven't really learned how to actually deal with, the, like when doubts come up, when fears come up, when negative thoughts come up, they learned that they should flip it and ignore it, push it to the side, uh, don't give it any, like, awareness, but that's really wrong. And I say this directly in your face, guys, because if you're doing that, you suppress it, it will stay there, it will come up even stronger, it will come up later, so learn how to deal with that. Really important, not just for this topic, but in general. And again, if you want to learn how to do that, we can work together. Link for that to figure out if we are a good fit is in the description down below. Also, rediscover your worthiness. Rediscover your own wholeness, your own completeness and stop the obsession, right? Because people that are not like whole, complete, feeling content and happy and peaceful with themselves and they like need this person to fulfill them, that's when the struggle begins. So I'm not saying that it's not great to have a relationship. It is. And I, again, I went through all of this stuff right here. But I'm just saying you from my experience that if you are, first of all, not having this solid foundation level, then it will be hard. It always will feel at a distance and like this is a strong and hard process. So get those foundations right. Okay, rediscover that you are 100% worthy just because of who you really are just because of your true self, just because of this infinite consciousness that you are beyond your ego, within every possibility exists. So how can you not be worthy of something when you already have everything, okay? You are whole, you are complete. So you can't stop obsessing about that. And start to realize that happiness and peace is your true nature. It's not the other person, right? The other person reflects the things that you do within yourself, but they are not your happiness. Again, watch the video that I recommended before on how to deal with relationship insecurity, which I also linked previously in this video, and you will find it on my channel. So that your happiness is your true self and it is within you. And additional, what you can do if you need any help is you can have a mentor that you resonate with. Uh, also being surrounded by like amount of people and having all of this knowledge in this bigger picture understanding summarized, which I basically do my program and I also know that there are some other great teachers out there. So if you need help, just pick someone that you resonate with, right? You don't have to work with me, uh, but you can if you want. Uh, but you can work with everyone if you need help with that. But that's, for me, a solid foundation, okay? So if you understand everything that we talked about so far in this video, if you have this solid foundation in place, then you are ahead of the game and you... Um, make this whole journey way easier than usually people do it. So let's talk about the solution, right? We covered the pitfalls, we covered the traps that people fall on, we covered um, like Neville's meaning on this and that this was his own meaning, you can do what you want, that it is possible. Now let's talk about the solution, okay? First of all, get clear on what you really want. And I want to say this again, right? Because the state right? The, the state is always bigger than the how. Let me explain that. I know that some people, they come in and they say, yeah, but I want this specific person. For some people, I'm not saying that this is true all the time, just for some people, 
this desire changes or this desire even fades away and they then certainly want to be in general in a happy relationship. And that's totally fine. Both ways are fine if you want to stay with this specific person or if you want then someone new. Both is okay. But that is why it's important to get clear and to solve every like issue that you have with yourself first because only then you can see clearly. Only then you feel whole and, and clear and you know, oh, like this is actually what I want for my life. And then if it's this person, go for it. And if not, also okay. And realize and remember that the state, for example, the state of being happily partnered is always bigger than the how. And that's why if you want to in general manifest a specific um, a relationship, I personally would say it is easier, but it's also possible with someone specific, right? So just know really what you want. Um, deal with your own insecurities, deal with your own negative thoughts, fix every, like, like, like get the solid foundation, then it's easier. You can even try to do it all uh, before you have the solid foundation within yourself, but trust me, you will find yourself uh, that it is not so pleasant and that if you then encounter, if you manifest this person back, for example, and then you don't know how to deal with setbacks or failures or negative thoughts or relationship issues or insecurities, then you're there again and you're on this whole cycle again, okay? So first thing, get clear on what you really want. Second step, apply the core teachings instead of the surface level stuff, right? Come back to the deep fundamental core teachings of the law of assumption or of what I share on this channel, imagining creates reality. It is already there, like this possibility, this version of you that is in a relationship, it does already exist. And don't focus on the next video, the next magic pill, the next how to make them obsessed kind of stuff. It's not really beneficial. I'm pretty honest with you guys. And then follow the fundamental shift from desiring it, right? From being in a state of wanting it, not having it, needing it, to being it, right? Become conscious of all already being what you want to be, having what you want to have. Because your life reflects what you are conscious of being. Your life reflects your current state. So if your current state is wanting it, not having it, needing it, seeking new videos, seeking new stuff out there, that's what you will find yourself more in. That's what you're going to ref like manifest more of. But if you become conscious by imagining that you are already that, by imagining something that implies that you already have it, and you become conscious of, yes, this is already true for me, then this is your new internal state, and then this is what you will see more reflected back of. This is literally how it works. This is literally how I've done it, how a lot of people have done it, uh, when we're talking about the, the process behind the scenes. So follow this fundamental shift from what would imply that I already have it. Use whatever technique you like, but that's like the fundamental shift that, that takes place. So the easiest thing is to imagine, which again is spiritual sensation, right? To spiritually sense something, to imagine something that implies the fulfillment of your goal. And by doing that, you start to identify with your desired state. You start to think from it. You start to be that person that already has your goal, like I explained before, right? You become, you become conscious of already being that and your life reflects whatever you're conscious of being. That's the truth. You cannot erase this. You cannot escape this truth. Um, I don't even care if this video maybe get dislikes, but that's just the truth. You always get what you're conscious of being. So in order to manifest anything, you need to become conscious of first being that. And then it's reflected back to you. And with the relationship, it's the same way. Don't think that, that there's any other technique or any other method that you need to apply for the relationship than you need to apply it for money. No, it's it works always the same, guys. Get this, please. So choose something that implies you have this relationship. Let a friend congratulate you in your imagination. Let a friend hug you and say, I'm so awesome. It's so awesome that you guys are back together or that you are now in a relationship. Use whatever you want, but that's like the solution, right? It's easy. Keep it simple. Don't focus on, on all the nitty-gritty details and on all the, the stuff, right? Don't worry about the how, which I also made a video. I will link it here if I didn't already link too much videos because you can only link five in one video. So this is powerful, guys. This is really important. And then you make the shift happen, right? That's the shift that I also talk in the free masterclass that is um, in the video description. Um, you can also check it out if you go to upgradeyourlife.com slash masterclass. Because 
you you don't want to try to get your gold from this internal state and to try to bridge the gap with this surface level stuff. No, instead you instantly want to shift into the internal state where you already be it, where you already have it. Your state is reflected back to you. So get this clear, understand this, and apply this, and imagine something that implies that you are already in this state because imagining creates reality and your imagination will take everything that it needs in order to push that out and manifest it into this three-dimensional plane. And so now I want to share some quotes with you that undermine what we talked about so far in this video. Okay, so those are really powerful quotes also from Neville. First of all, he said, you can put God, aka your consciousness, your imagination, your awareness, you can put God to the test. And if he proves himself in the testing, you know, you will know God is your own wonderful human imagination. If you want the joy of a marriage, a love affair, or a romance, you can test God by assuming the one you desire is with you now. And to the degree that you persist in that assumption, it will be yours to experience. Do not be concerned as to how or when it will happen. Simply persist in the assumption that it has happened. And when it does, you will know who God is. Which means... The awesome thing is that you already carry this desire and this, this relationship within you, within your imagination. It's not separate from you. It is within your consciousness, within your true self. And when you imagine that, it is there right now. Okay? So this is really powerful. Like like Nava said, like you can put this to the test. You can just apply it and then see it for yourself that it works. And assume that the one you desire is with you right now. Also... Um, this is also one of my favorite quotes he said, to one's imagination, all things are possible. Right? So again, if you see it within your imagination, it is a possibility of God. It is a reality of God. It is a reality of your consciousness. It is already real. So truly powerful. So do not... This is also important because this goes now hand in hand with trying to influence others, make them obsessed and all of this stuff. So do not try to change people. They are only messengers telling you who you are. Revalue yourself and they will confirm the change. So don't try to change them with force or effort or yeah, with any uh, arguments and stuff like that. Change you. Change your conception. See yourself already in this relationship, right? Also, you, you, you will start to then automatically change the conceptions you have of others. Because if you see yourself in the relationship with X, Y, Z and this person then you automatically have the conception of them that they are with you. But start with your conception first. It's always the key. Your concept of self is always reflected back to you from this world. That's the truth. And if you will assume your desire and live there as though it were true, no power on earth can stop it from becoming a fact. Right? Nothing can stop it. There is no external force that says, oh, no, that's not supposed to be. That's, yeah, you should want someone else or stuff like that. It's your desire. If you know what you want, if you imagine that it does exist, and there's no power that can stop it. And all you can possibly need or desire is already yours. Call your desires into being by imagining and feeling your wish fulfilled. Right? By doing what I told you and what I tell you in all of my videos, which is imagine something that implies you have it. And test this out, guys. Don't use it only for this case, if, if this is your goal. Right? Use it for your... For your like financial life, use it for your friendship circle, use it for your whole day-to-day -day life and always always be imagining, basically. That should be your your like premise. Always be imagining, right? And also, you do not have to limit your power of belief to what your reasonable mind dictates. The choice and its limitations are entirely up to you, for all things exist in the human imagination, and it is from your imagination that your beliefs stem. If you go beyond the dictates of reason, it must be via your imagination. And since all things now exist there, you can at any moment go beyond what your reason and senses dictate. Which means you can, even though there is no like sign of that relationship, it's not here yet, you don't see anything, you can still imagine that you have it. You can still see yourself already experiencing it. Right? So, and if you take, if you do this and you take everything into consideration that I shared with you in this video and you, 
like do everything that I shared with you in this video so far, then this becomes normal. You don't hype this topic. You don't obsess about this topic. It just becomes like any other manifestation also. It's the same way, same process, no special thing. And also remember that love is your birthright. Love is the fundamental necessity of your life. Do not go seeking for that which you are, right? Those who go seeking for love only make manifest their own lovelessness and the loveless never find love. Only the loving find love and they never have to seek for it. Which means this is just a summary of what I shared with you when I explained that you need to rediscover your own worthiness, your own wholeness, your own completeness. Then this becomes easier and then this becomes fun and natural. But if you feel loveless and you crave that, you get more of that. So you have to change first. You have to shift internally first. So let's summarize all of that, that you have a game plan, that you know what's going on. And this is what I'm going to do right now in the summary part. Most people make this a special topic and therefore make it really hard for themselves. Right? I'm sure you agree with me that that's what most people do. Right? They hype this topic up, they think it's something different, it's like a, a different manifestation method that's needed or a different thing that happens behind the scenes, basically. No, it's like as any other manifestation, it's the same thing, it's just that we make it difficult. We then, because we think, okay, there's another person involved and what about like free will and all of this stuff. But again, guys, if everything is possible to go to your imagination and you can see it already being within there, why should it not be possible? Ask yourself that instead. And again, check out the success stories that I have linked below. Also, most are only learning surface level stuff, right? The techniques and methods and this kind of stuff. And they wonder why they get no results or the results are only short lived. And then they stop or they give up because they're tired and exhausted. This is also something that Neville said. Usually people only give up because they tried too hard. And they did too many things. They think this is, they overcomplicate all of that. But that's not here to be overcomplicated. And people who have success oftentimes have a deeper understanding of the law and or are not attached to the outcome. They are not needy and depending on this. It's just a preference thing. Right? It's like you have the mentality of I'm good either way. But now I choose this. I choose this. I claim this. Yep, this is my person. This is my relationship. And you can do it. But it's not that you're like dependent on this. It's not that you're like attached to the outcome. And you approach this with ease. And you understand um, the deeper principles of the law of assumption. So know what you want. Either be general or choose someone specific if you like to. And apply the law. There is no secret there is no magic pill and there is no different way for this manifestation. I want you to get this. How you manifest one thing is how you manifest everything. Stop seeking and start implementing what you learn. So this is why, in my opinion, this is the only video you need. If you apply what's in here, if you really think about that, then you can make it happen, right? So stop all this madness out there. Stop all this delusional stuff and... Like, stay with the basics, apply the law, test it, prove it to yourself. You will grow in faith, you will grow in conviction that it works, and then you don't have to seek the next coach, the next mentor, the next video. You just know it for yourself, you have your own wisdom within you, no one can take that away from you, and then you just apply it. Right? So, that's it for this video. I know it's a really extensive video, we're now like at 40 minutes. So, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. If you have an opinion on that, Leave me this down below in the comments. I'm really open for your feedback. Um, like the video if you want to, share it, post it somewhere. This is one of the videos that I definitely want more people to see because I want people to finally like cut all the craziness, uh, focus on what works so that they can get their results. Thank you really much for watching, guys. Highly appreciate your support and I speak to you in the next video. Bye, guys.